Hello and welcome back to Up The Villa podcast. If you're new around here, subscribe to our channel, drop this video a like and get involved in the comment section down below. So welcome to Transfer Hub. I hope that yellow ticker and the Transfer Hubs are going to be coming thick and fast in the next couple of days just to bring some added quality into the squad. I think there's still a couple of areas where we still need to strengthen. For me, personally, going into the last couple of days, I would like three signings. I would like a defender, a forward slash striker, and an attacking midfielder. That would be me being pretty, pretty greedy. And I think if we got those three players in, I would be very, very confident that we'd have all of the tools, the squad, to aspire to get to that sixth place that I wanted us to be in and around at the start of, well, when we did our season predictions. So I think I'd feel really confident. At the minute, I'm probably about, what percentage am I on us? Getting sixth right now. I would probably say I'm about 67%, very precise. But I think those injuries to Mings and Buendia have made that percentage go down. Basically, what I'm trying to say is that we've made some really good signings. Pau Torres, DRB, oh, what a player, Tielemans. So those three players have really improved our team tenfold. Now, with Mings, with Buendia, we had pure squad depth. We had squad depth galore. But with those two players missing, we're a little bit light in that attacking midfield area and that defensive area. So that's why if we can get the three in, I'd feel we're back to where we were, how comfortable we were at this window. Um, so we are linked with Clement Longley from Barcelona, who was on loan at Spurs last season. And that would be one of the players that would tick off that defensive area and I would feel completely fine. I think we've had a bit of a window with the defence where we've looked to offload Luca Dean because financially it might have made sense to take those wages off our wage bill. But with the Acuna getting injured, I think, and with Luca Dean's present form, I think we've probably looked at it and said, it can stay because we, there's not a target out there maybe that we, we, we've we got that would potentially fit the criteria of what Emery's looking for. We've also been linked with, and fans have been wanting us to sign a right back, and I get it. I think that would make sense. But for me, you know what formation I want Aston Villa to play. You know all through pre-season, you know that I want Aston Villa to play this formation at the back with centre-halves. So with that in mind, Clement Longley coming in, a left-sided centre-half, I think would add that cover and would sort of replace Mings on the loan deal. And I think it would be a very clever signing. I think it enables us to really stick with this back line. Um, and I think... You know, when you're looking at us currently in Europe and, and the Premier League, we don't have rotation in this area at the minute. And I think this is why long lay makes a lot of sense. If we want to play this formation and one of these players got injured, Pau Torres, Carlos and Conza, apart from Carlos, we don't have anybody to come in to sort of replace or take that position so Longley coming in as a centre-half would allow options with rotation, whether it's in Europe or in the Premier League. So I think that's why I'm liking this Longley link and this centre-half link, because I think it enables us to do so. If then we want to mix it up in Europe, then we can maybe go with a Matty Cash. And then you can sort of rest a Pau Torres, a Longley, a Consa. So you could have three, uh, two players. Basically, we've got Pau Torres and Longley, and then you'd have Carlos and Consa. Then you can start to have that rotation as well. Then if you want to rotate Luke Dean with Moreno, you can do. And then if you want to rotate Cash with 
Consa and then go back to having three centre halves. We can as well. So for me, signing another defender is going to massively, massively help us defensively with our defensive options. In Europe, there might be some games where we want to rest two centre halves and go with Luke Dean and Cash. Premier League, we might want to rest Cash. We might want to put Cash in midfield. So having this extra defender is going to enable us to be more versatile. Then moving forward in this window, I would love another attacking player. I'd love another support striker or a striker, a forward, a winger, whatever you want to add to the squad. Then I'm definitely up for doing that as well. But we know that and it's kind of it's kind of different, isn't it? Because you're looking at defenders and you're kind of thinking, why do we need another defender? Why we need a winger, we need a striker, we need this, we need that. But having this defense is so important to the way we play. You saw those goals, you saw that Matty Cash second goal. You know, how many times did Pau Torres touch the ball? How many times did Conta get, get the ball? How many times did Carlos touch the ball in that move? They were all heavily involved. So gone are the days where we just crave for these wingers and these expressive, creative players to, to be the main focal point in our team. This defence is so, so important. And it's so important that we've got options if we've got option, if we've got options, sorry, we can go with sort of different options at the back. We could go with the wing, the full backs, or we can go with centre half, centre back. So I think for me, getting this centre back is really important. So for me, it's a massive, massive plus. I'm happy that we're linked with this player as well. So let's just have a little look in general transfer hub fashion at some of his stats. So. Um, last season, he was on loan at Spurs, and we know what Spurs' defence was like last season. We know what the vibe was like at Spurs last season. But if we have a look at um, some of his games, so he was playing as a centre half in a five at the back or a three at the back, however you want to put it. Um, he played 26 games, started 24. He had two assists, 87% passing accuracy, 91% in his own half, which is brilliant. Opposition half, 79%. He'd got one clean sheet, 1.5 tackles per game, 2.6 clearances per game. He had a dribble success of 64%. He won 56 of his total duels, 54% of his ground duels, and he won 61% of his aerial duels. So his height, his stature, his presence would be welcomed in a Villa back line. This is going to be a loan deal, although his market value is at 10 million. It was Monchi who signed him at Seville. He then went to Barcelona and then on loan to Spurs. One of the stats that we want to have a little look at here is progressive passes and his progressive carries. So pretty decent progressive carries in a 1.53 um, per 90. Progressive passes, 3.96. We have 1.89 tackles per game, clearances 2.96, aerials 1.82 per 90, pass completion 86% per 90. Um, so some decent stats there. You know, he wants to get on the ball, he wants to play the ball. Who scored has his strengths as concentration, which for a centre-half is a pretty good strength to have. Likes dribble, likes to tackle, commits fouls often. So, Villa fans, let me know what your thoughts are. But for me, in general, massive plus points. I think if we can add some cover into this back line, like, like I've said earlier, it, it would be massive, um, especially when you're sort of trying to rotate in Europe, cup games, etc. There's a lot of games to play. We don't want Consa, Carlos and Pau to be playing every single game. So, the options need to be there for Unai. Um, so, yeah, for me, a welcomed rumour, welcome link. Um, since this rumour came out as well, there's been some noise coming out of Spain as well, saying that he's chosen his preferred destination back to the Premier League. So I think it's pretty much 
I'd say it looks like this one's going to happen. So um, absolutely buzzing about it. Um, and we'll have to stay tuned to see if there are any other rumours. So we've got a busy week, loads of content. We've got our match preview for the Hibs game that's out now as well. So you can go and check that one out. A lot of talking points, Ollie Watkins, Unai Emery, Hibs, etc. So, yeah, enjoy all of the content. It's going to be really busy this week. So if you are new around here, subscribe to the channel, drop this video a like, up the villa.